Hi, welcome to Avset Math. In this video, I'll talk about sequences and series and a few tips to handle these types of problems. I'm assuming you have the usual Algebra 1, Algebra 2 understanding of this topic, so I'll focus on a few additional techniques to help. You'll find links in the description section for summaries of the usual Algebra 1, Algebra 2 treatment. Now the first tip is to use symmetry around a center term. For example, assume we have an arithmetic sequence of five terms. We usually describe this sequence in terms of the first term, sometimes called the anchor term. So in this example, we express the five terms as a1, a1 plus d, a1 plus 2d, a1 plus 3d, and finally a1 plus 4d. And that's often a useful description for math analysis. But for some AMC problems, it's very helpful to express the sequence in terms of the center term. So a3 minus 2d, a3 minus d, a3, a3 plus d, a3 plus 2d. And when we do that, we notice a few immediate connections. One is that the sum of the terms is simply given by 5 times a3. So in effect, a3 is the average of the five terms. And we also find that a3 is also the average of any pair or any group of terms that is symmetric around the center term. So if I tell you the sum or the average of an arithmetic sequence, then you immediately know the center term. And that's often useful in AMC problems. Now a second tip is to look for groupings in the series. The most common groupings are pairwise groupings and uh, front to back groupings. So for example, the series 1 minus 1 plus 3 minus 2 plus 5 minus 3 is difficult to work with until we group the terms in pairs to reveal an obvious pattern that can help us analyze the problem. Another example is the series 1 plus 2 plus 3, 4, 5, and 6. And this is most easily handled with front to back groupings, at which point we realize that what we have here is really three pairs of seven. So the sum of this series is simply given by 3 times 7, or 21. Now the final tip is to examine several terms of any sequence or series to look for patterns to help in analyzing the problem. So sometimes a sequence can look very difficult at the start, but sometimes settles into a pattern, which in this case repeats with every three terms. What that means is that we can use the term index 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Divide the term index by 3 and take the remainder. 1 divided by 3, the remainder is 1. 2 divided by 3, the remainder is 2. 3 divided by 3, the remainder is 0. And so on. Which goes on as well. To reveal a very simple pattern that can be used to predict the higher order terms. In this example, we can look out to the 2017th term. We can uh, divide 2017 to find its remainder upon division by 3. The remainder is 1. And then we can look back to the initial terms of this sequence to realize that the term value for 2017 is given by 4. So those are my three tips for AMC sequence and series problems. You can see these tips in action in the example video problems linked to this video, and you can practice these methods in the problem set linked in the description section. So good luck with those, and I'll see you at the next video. Until then, take care.